What is up, YouTube? Let me just check real quick, make sure that we are recording. Okay, everything looks good. Hopefully my head's in frame. Hopefully we have enough lighting here. It looks like it from this end. My lights are not blinding me, but they are bright over here. All right. So let's get started today. I got a lot of stuff to go through and show you. First of all, I want to thank all of you that are subscribed. I really appreciate you. Your support to the channel, it really helps a lot. And uh, one of our biggest supporters and the uh, biggest sponsor of the channel is Maccabee Speed. You guys, after this video, if you haven't subscribed to him or checked him out already, go check out Maccabee Speed. He's a really great guy, really honest reviews, and he's just down to earth fella, and uh, you really like him. Uh, so today, we're gonna get started here. Let me mark off some of these. I got some notes here. This has been one hectic day for me. I don't wanna get into it too much, but it's been dealing with the USPS, United States Postal Service. They have given me a run around the last few days over something I've been trying to get out and go on and get to somebody. Uh, and they just, whew, it's been hectic. Let's just put it that way. We got a lot of things to go over. And uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and do this. This is an unboxing. It's a pretty big old box. This is uh, it's from Nielsen's Specialty Ammo. Sorry, I had a spider web or something going on there. Go ahead and get into this thing. Not spill my coffee. Okay, we'll just cut this. This is a big box for specialty ammo. <laughs> Just spook load of my cat. I love messing with her. She'll mess with me when I'm just sitting there. She'll come up and just attack me. It's kind of funny. Good Lord, they take this thing all over the place. I like this, uh, getting right into my videos. I could not cut a straight line today. And I missed it. I know it's uh, I like getting straight into my videos, guys. But you let me know what you think about, uh, that's an awful big box for a small box to be in, but whatever. <laughs> um, let me know what you think about the videos. Do you like intros to videos? Or you just like me coming and jumping straight into what we're doing here? Because I'm not all big on uh, intros, but if you like seeing intros, I could try to make up one and try to, try to get one edited in on it. Just let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think? Are you, do you care about seeing intros? like? I don't know, cut it flying across, smashing a target or something. Uh, let me know what you think on that. These, these, by the way, these are the 110 grain, a hollow point, deep base, 35 cal slugs. Now, I know you're like, well, you already unboxed a NSA slugs before for the 35 cal. What's, what's so big and different from you? There's supposed to be a hundred count there. It looks like a lot of, a lot of slugs there. Now, why well, I went ahead and ordered some more is not because I've done shot those all up or anything like that. But these slugs, when I was shooting these, the 357, they were 357 diameter also. When I would shoot these and, to, and cock the lever to rotate the mag, these things, they would just jar out when it would shoot, it would just, the bully has a little bit of kick to it and it has a loud bark. 
these would just, if you can see, they would, they're loose and they kind of move, move out like that and they get hung up on the breech and it wouldn't cycle. I'd have to, have to mess with these and I noticed that I'd have to push them back in. The ends of them, I don't know if you can see that, they would get marred where they'd either slide forward a little or slide back. You can see how loose they are. I can just grab them with my fingers and, and there's one in the floor. Now, those are, the, those are the 357 and they are 357 diameter. So what I did was I ordered these. These are 357, but let me pick that slug up out of the floor. Let me not mix them up with this. Oh, good Lord, ready to go. Okay. Sorry about that. I just didn't want my cat Luna to uh, be playing with the leg. They're 357s. They're 350s. So you can't really tell much of a difference. Except for the base, you can kind of see a difference. Let me get over here and see if I can get it good on the camera. Base may look a little different to you. May not. Lighting up to the camera is horrible. These are 358 diameter. They are a little bit bigger round. And my thinking was hopefully they will stay in. Oh, that's a lot tighter, ladies and gentlemen. That feels really good. I think these will cycle a lot better and not jar in and out of the magazine when we go ahead and shoot it and then try and cycle, cycle them in. I think that's going to work great. So we'll test these out in the bully. <clears throat> and see how they do. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this mag in here so I'll know those are the 358 diameter slugs loaded in that mag. And I'll know these are our 357s that do not cycle very well. Now uh If I had a single shot tray for the bully, then I could shoot all those up. But I don't, so I'll just have to shoot them around off camera and go ahead and get rid of those 357 diameter slugs. They're not all that great <laughs> trying to fool with them. Now, <clears throat> got that out of the way. Here is what I've been waiting to get to, ladies and gentlemen. This is, let me swirl this light over here. This is from, well, I probably already got that on camera. My address and everything, I'll try to edit that out. This is from the Maccabee Speed Media Machine. Or I'll uh, edit the address out, Mac. This is the care package he has sent us. Most of you have probably seen it if you watched his live video. Well, he has gone ahead and sponsored to Air Power here. Or, uh, I'll just yank stuff out of here. Our care package here. Let's go ahead and just take this out of here. These are what I'm really looking for. I mean, I love the camera. That's sweet. But these are what I've been waiting for. Right here. If my wife comes out of the bedroom and trips on boxes, you're probably going to hear her holler at me on camera. It'll probably be funny for you, but not for me. Oh, Maccabee, I love it, but you sent me a lot. That's cool. I'm not going to hold them all up here, but you've probably all seen the plinking if you're familiar with his channel. That's, these are some awesome stickers. Well, no, you can't help me. You can't help me. You can't have my coffee. Excuse me. Thank you. Now, where are we going to stick these? Because 
I seen how he did his video and how he did, did him, excuse me. Leave my lights alone. Don't you got toys to go play with? Luna. Sorry guys. Get, get down, thank you. This is my pellet box. I thought I was just, and I'm stepping on other things. Sorry, sorry, I got stuff everywhere. I'm trying to get to everything and show you guys everything. I thought I was only getting one of these. So, but my pellet box, I don't know if any of you've seen it, but I can't put my sticker on here. Nowhere really, like I was planning on, but it's just knotted up here. There's no really nowhere to do it. Well, here's the uh, ammo box. Here. You guys see in there? Probably not so well. Let's uh, take the camera and dump it over instead of pellets dumping over all on the floor. You guys bear with me here. These are 22 Hornets. These are 22 Gamma Red Fire. They're kind of like the Polymags. If you know what I'm talking about, they got the red tip. Probably a little cheaper than the Polymags. Do about the same thing. These are the uh, Ruger 17 grains. You can get at Walmart for the 22. This is all 22 row. These are GSB 18 grains. These are the uh, for my 25 caliber flash. These are the 357 slugs, by the way. Then I'm going to put those there that don't fit very well in the magazine. These are the 357 JSB. No, they're not. Those are 30 cal, by the way, what I have left. And these are Polymag 30 cals that did not fit in the magazine for the carnivore. So these will have to go in a different 30 cal rifle when I ever get another one. But anyway, as you can see, the th it's all knotted up. There's uh, These are sticking up. I can't stick the stickers quite on there. So... I'll have to figure a place to put them. Right. Let's stick these in here. Those are out of the way. <clears throat> Still on the stickers. We'll get to the camera in just a minute. <clears throat> The uh, sticker, sticker, stickers. Maybe I can put them on my gun case. Oh. Let's move this before we knock it off. Maybe I can stick one, possibly. It's a really tight area. I really don't know yet. I don't know if it'll stick over top of these. We'll probably give one a try since he sent me since he sent me a few. We'll probably try to stick one on this. Up in here. Yeah, I'll stick a few in some places. Anyway, why I've got a gun case I wanted to show you. Can y'all see it very well? Pretty good. I also wanted to show you this. This had the flesh and the carnivore both in it. Now the carnivore is gone. The uh, bullet is the only thing that can fit in this case. It takes up the whole case. I want to make sure you guys can see this. And you see the bullet takes up the whole case. And there's really no room for the flash in there with it. Because it is so wide. More than it is long. And uh, there's just no room for the uh, flash in there with it. Like I had the uh, carnivore flash fit in here together with scopes on them. 
pretty good if you've seen that video. If not, go back and check it out. So that's that. And uh, so I didn't want to just leave the flash sitting around anywhere. I don't have a stand-up gun case, no other kind of gun case. That's the only one I had. I actually ran out to Walmart and bought that one for like 40 bucks at, for the flash. And uh, at the time, I didn't plan on getting these two rifle up bully and the carnivore as quickly as I did. So uh, when the carnivore came, it fit in there with the flash, no problem. Then that one came, and uh, I just didn't want to leave it sitting out, so I tried to put it in the case and went ahead and boxed up the uh, cardboard, blah blah blah. Anyway, you see, it takes up the whole case, so I have to put the flash somewhere. So, guys, I just put it back in the uh, hot sun box. Back in the hot sun box, except for I did a little, little something to the box. If it has be, it has a. Uh, let me think of the word. Can you see how shiny it is on film? I don't know if you can or not. But it's kind of shiny. It has it. You see, it's got a hinge on the back of it. It has epoxy resin all over it. And uh, I epoxy this whole case, so it's it's pretty hard, and that's why the hinge works on it. Let me not spill my coffee, and I just put the flash back in here with the scope because this is the bully box and it's wide, so the flash fit in there perfect with the scope. You see the FX slugs and the H and N barracudas we have not tested yet in the flash. It's gonna rain on us tomorrow so we're not good get to go out tomorrow all right that's wanted to show you that cool box i did some modifications to go ahead and get that stored up i could have just put it back in the box plain jane but if you've had a uh, hot sun boxes you know how Limbs in the arm, and you have to pull it up, pull the tabs up. So I just did that. I thought it was pretty cool. I think the box looks neat. And uh, with that epoxy resin on it, it's got a shine to it. It looks pretty cool. I probably could have put a uh, real thin, uh, real thin plywood on the inside of it, made it even more sturdy. But you know, I didn't think about that at the time. I could probably still go back and do that. But anyway. Magby Speed, let's get to, let's get to the goodies. Oh look guys, I just now realized this is in the bubble wrap. We get to have some fun, popping bubbles. Don't pay me no attention, I've had too much coffee. Okay, so we have our charger cord. Which I'm sure I'll probably have to charge this before I use it and this is a uh, oh that's cool HDMI cable for the camera with a uh, the micro micro uh, I don't know what it's called micro end on it not the HDMI on both ends I'm taking it this is the charger and this is the camera. What's well, small? Cool. Be careful, man. Don't cut nothing important. What kind of tape do you got here, brother? This thing's harder than my uh, clear, clear packing tape. It's really stiff. Oh man, that is a sweet looking camera, guys. 
That is a sweet little camera. Canon Vixia HF R800. Sweet little dude. Hey, it, it, it uh, turns on when you open the screen. This is supposed to flip around. So I guess you can see yourself. All right. The battery looks full. Mac me sent it to me charged. That's that's sweet. We will uh we will get this out and play with it. Because uh, I do not know how to operate it. And right now the screen is is black. So I'll have to play with this. I do not know. Something I'll have to mess with. We won't mess with it right now on film. Y'all don't want to stay here for hours when I play with this thing to figure it out. Anyway, those are all of the unboxings. Sweet hammer. We do the testing with the flash. Now, <clears throat> one other thing I want to address if Alice Smoot is watching this video, brother, USPS as inform me they've scanned to scan that thing it's coming brother it's coming to you i have some else for you we'll get to you as soon as i know you got that got the 30 cal jsb 44.775 grains and in here are also some nielsen specialty ammo slugs for that for the 30 cal uh, carnivore and I'm also going to send you this brother if it is the uh, the adapter I got you an adapter I'm gonna send you I'm gonna send this all to you for free don't even worry about it since all the shipping problems this is the adapter that goes on your field probe with a nylon washer in there and you can go ahead and fill that thing and I have to worry about ordering you one. Hope you haven't ordered one already. I'm sure you hadn't because you hadn't even received it yet. But there you go, man. I got you covered. Uh, all right, guys. That's all for this. And I really love the care package from Maccabee Speed. Like I said, go check out his channel. If most of his subscribers are probably here. He, he shouts me out all the time. I really appreciate him. Now, I really appreciate you guys that subscribe and have come over from there. You really support the channel, and without you subscribers, this channel is just they're nothing. You can start a channel and not have a subscriber one, it's not going to do you any good. Uh, so, this channel is because of you, and uh, I do these things for you, and I really enjoy them myself, and... Uh, I just found out about PCP air rifles in the middle of last year. I didn't even know these exist. I uh, I was still thinking, okay, you go Walmart, buy, Walmart, buy a 177 or 22 brake barrel or pump action and go shoot up stuff in the backyard. And I just happened to one day searched air rifles and on YouTube and I seen these big boars and I'm like, what? Wait a minute. This is crazy. And I started ordering some, and uh, I'm, I'm, I really like them. They're really sweet. So uh, we're going to end the video right there. You guys that are tuning in and not subscribers, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It helps with the algorithms and helps get us out there for other people that might be looking for this kind of content and these kind of reviews and checking out what what does. And it just helps people get to see it and get to know that this is here. So go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to get uh, notifications when we upload new videos. Uh, like these videos and uh, share them to all your friends and families and share them on your, your media networks. I really appreciate it. And it would, like I said, it would help us out a lot. And once again, a big shout out to Maccabee Steve. You're the man, bro. Thank you a lot. I really, really, really thank you. And I'll always support your channel, even if even if you did not sponsor us and send us this. 
because uh, you have a great channel and I really love it and love what you're doing there. So uh, this is really going to help us out. Once I get my uh, laptop working or just purchase a new one because I don't know if that one's just shot and uh, I figure out how to start editing these things and getting them together, you guys can have better films and better camera down range, camera up where it, at the bench where I'm shooting. And you can see if I can get them in sync, of course I'll learn. You can see the target and me at the same time. And we'll, we can cut most of that walking back and forth out. So, all right. All right, you guys have a wonderful night. I am out.